A ver. Estamos en la cena de mi amigo Pepito, que va a conseguir al final el premio Waterby. El que la sigue, la consigue. He venido aquí a veros y sobre todo a brindar por la marca España con Pepe Madrazo, nuestro entrañable amigo. Aquí están mis amigos, aquí están todos mis amigos. ¿Qué tal? Doctor. También, por fin. Por fin. Sí, sí. Hombre, todo llega. Ahora me voy a encontrar un poco vacío. Sí, me va a faltar un quehacer. <risa> me va a faltar, es como si me hubieran, o sea, verdad, no cuenta, cor mano, cortado la, eh, me hubieran dado la jubilación. <risa> Esta es la... Esta sí que ya la bomba. Pues sí, sí, no. Un par, un par de Waterbys españoles, ¿verdad? Oye, y los, y los dos únicos que no... Que viven... Vivos. Que no somos norteamericanos. No, no, por eso. O sea, ah, no, claro, claro, sí, los esto, únicos. Esto no te lo cruzas. En, en los llévenes, por lo menos, no me no, no, Eso no pasa, no, 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 no pasa. No, es que no hay, no hay dos de una nacionalidad que no sea norteamericana. Claro. Bueno, mexicanos también, ¿eh? ¿Qué? Mexicanos México, también. igual, norteamericanos. Pero son norteamericanos. O sea, no digo estadounidenses, pero norteamericanos. Norteamericanos. Efectivamente. Enrique, hace Nada. 15 años te lo dieron a ti. 20. ¿no? 20 años. Yo estoy diciendo en el vídeo 15. No, no, no. O sea, no, no. hace 20 años. 20 años. Ve 20 años han pasado hasta que otro español ha podido conseguir <risa> subir al podio como lo hizo él. Esto sí, <risa> esto sí que es un orgullo. in their own right. Please welcome Rex Baker. Rex! Welcome. I'd like to introduce this year's Weatherby Hunting and Conservation Award winner, Jose Pepe Madraza. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, members of the board, hunters and friends. Thank you for being here tonight. Thank you for sharing this great moment with me. I'm very thankful to my presenter, Rex, not only for his place and words, but also for his company, camaraderie, and friendship in so many different scenarios and hands. First of all, I must say that I'm very honored receiving the Weatherby Award. I'm very thankful to the selection committee, to my friends in the selection committee, for their kind appreciation of my merits. This moment means the culmination of a long competition, kind of test of my commitment, endurance, and strong will to achieve another pinnacle in my life. I love challenges, and this one has been one of the toughest. I'm also honored and proud of winning this award and bringing it back to my home country, Spain. I'm the fourth Spaniard being distinguished with the Weatherby, and I take it as a recognition of the Spanish commitment to sporty and ethical hunting. I'm glad to see Enrique Zamacola, the third Spaniard, recognized with the Weather Award, accompanying us tonight and celebrating this national success. Thanks, Kiko. From my personal point of view, the award in itself is not another award to add to my collection, not at all. It is the most brilliant gem among all prizes in my gallery of awards. Nevertheless, the process, the road to conquer it, I must say, has been the real prize won in that long 
difficult, challenging, and demanding career. My prize, my real reward, has been to be able to enjoy hunting over so many years, in so many scenarios, meeting all kinds of people, living all sorts of adventures, and overcoming so many challenging, sometimes tricky difficulties. My passion has always been to hunt. I started hunting nearly when I learned to walk, and I hunted just for the sake of it, repeating once and again the same animals, taking, for instance, several buffaloes in the same safari, and not caring about collecting different species, some of which I wouldn't consider big game at that time. When I was on that mood, I was invited to participate in the weatherly contest. First, it was Madariaga who tried to push me in a friendly way when he knew that I had already most of the ship and cover on earth. I kindly rejected that offer, as well as the offer from Ricardo Medem a few years later. But then I met Dr. Spiegel, who told me about the wonders of the weather, persuading me to apply and sent me the first ballot. That was in 2007, and I had already bagged 197 different species and many, many, many repeats. His personality, knowledge, and honorability converted me in an applicant, and I sent my ballot in 2009. I have to confess that I did not understand the philosophy to compete. It was only in 2011 when I learned it from Rex Bacon, who explained to me the correct approach, pointed out the differences between the Conklin and the weathering competitions. The rest is history. Here I am with the weathering award and 391 different species as per the rules applying when I start. Now happy and free to hunt whatever animal I like without the pressure of pursuing new species and traveling all the time like a rogue trotter. <laughs> now, when I know very well the ins and outs, the rules and the procedures of the competition, now I fully understand Valentin de Madariaga's proposal in 1998 at the time of setting the inverted commas criteria to evaluate the weather award. He said, and I agree with him, that it is important to keep the weather spirit. According to him, the ultimate characteristic of a hunter is getting big game species with dignity, to enjoy hunting and to be an example of conservation instead of being an avid collector of animals, trotting around the world, trying to get as many species as possible in the shortest amount of time. I'm very thankful to the weather for the opportunity to participate in the contest since it has given me the chance to meet so many wonderful people attending the meetings, dinners and conventions in America. I'm very pleased to have met so many people who I consider my friends. It has been a great experience which has enriched me in many ways. To those friends, to the guides and officers met in my struggles around the globe, to my family, to our son and daughters, especially to my daughter Anna Maria, the beacon guiding my life and to my wife Christine, carrying the heavy burden of the house in my lost absences, I offer this celebrated award. Without them, without their support, I would not be here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, friends, thank you for being here. Thank you very much and long life to the weather report.
cero y, y con suerte le metemos otros dos aquí. ¿Eh? Pepe, muy bien. Muchas gracias, Jamón. Muchas gracias, muchísimas gracias.